It's the end of the season here at Palomo and something a little bit strange has happened. We're in second place and we will get promoted if we win a game. Yep. Welcome back to the DP Dome in episode 7 of Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP and we are in second place in Sierra B. I'm not quite sure how we found ourselves in this situation, but we might get promoted today to Syria, way ahead of schedule. And this was not on the cards when we arrived at the club. It has been a little bit crazy. So if we go all the way back here, we joined this club in October, right around here. And our first matches were against Venezia and Bari, and we lost both of them 1-0. We had this little ropey start. It wasn't awesome. And then from there, things have come together. The The team's gelled. We've brought in some signings uh, around here in January and really turned things around. Ignore these friendlies. They don't matter. It was just an international break. But uh, again, bit of a wobble. Uh, lost to the teams well above us, Cagliari and Pisa, who were comfortably up the, the top half of the league. Uh, we all remember the pizza and, and Tootsie Roll experience uh, and then this we've just gone on an absolute tear other than a 1-1 draw against Sampdoria which happened late thanks to Christian Volpato uh, one of our January signings we can't stop winning we destroyed Mantova who were bottom of the league we destroyed Salernitana Barry we won 5-3 which you've seen and Ascoli you were here for at 4-1 so today we play Frosinone and Spezia I promised I'd stop doing the accent. I just can't help myself. We're in Italy and it's awesome. I'm very excited. We should not be in this position. And yet, here we are. The team uh, doesn't look that much different to what you had, although Perotti is back from injury and doing Perotti things. He doesn't love being a, a complete wing back on attack. So I might just change him to support and get him in his preferred role. But other than that, Things have been going rather well. You can see here, Eddie Salcedo, he was great uh, in a couple of matches, but he's fallen away for us. But we've just kept doing what we're doing. Fructo's been excellent in goal. Our defence has been working pretty well, though questions asked of Nicolau. He's kind of fallen off the boil as the season's gone, and 6.8 rating for him. But all of this green, and it's absolutely marvellous. We've only been using uh, Di Francesco, Di Mariano and, and Vere off the bench because they're probably leaving in the summer and I don't want to rely on them. But Volpato, Vasic and uh, Marrera, along with Br uh, Brunori, have been getting the job done for us. And it's been a thing of beauty. So the permutations for today, Frosinone are in eighth. They're pretty much out of the equation. We are one point clear of Vicenza, but we're now four points clear of Pizza, which is madness. If we win one of our matches today, we're going up, more than likely, although Vicenza can still uh, kind of catch us. But we've got a game in hand on those clowns as well. So mm, it, it's iffy, but we can absolutely secure promotion today. And you can see here the lowest we can finish is fourth, so we'll definitely make the playoffs. The board are happy. And let's just go get into the game. I've already made the, the selections that are required. Let me walk you through the team for one of the last times this season. So, Fruitel in goal, Dal Nikolai, Walukovic, or Walu, and Prozzi uh, at the back. That sounded weird. I like had a mouthful of flan. Uh, Blin and Segre in the midfield because they've been great. Marrera, Vasic, Velpato as the uh, attacking option, supporting Brunori up front. And look at this. We've got a line already between... Dahl and Marrera, they've only been here since January and they're already linking up well. Better than these guys who've been here all season. Nikolai and Walukowicz who've been here all season. And I'm a little bit excited. After this match, I'll show you what I've been up to transfer-wise. We've got a few lined up. Some bargains that might be any good for next season or very good backup options to try and plug some of those gaps. Again, given that we're going to have a number of players moving on. Uh, next season so I'm planning ahead but what I wasn't planning for when I made those signings was promotion it's just kind of snuck up on us and if we do secure it I, I'd half expect us to come straight back down to Sura B to be honest we're not ready for the step up I don't know that we can survive but 
Regardless, this has been a very successful season to go from all the way down here and dipping our toe into the relegation water at a couple of different points to now second. This league is mad. But again, I'm not complaining. Full credit to the lads for getting the job done and, and playing really well. That's a bit of a cheeky free kick that didn't really pay off. I'm not sure Volpato was ready for the, the short one there from Benori. Dal tried to play it out wide for Volpato, and he's just absolutely clueless again. He's not sure what he's doing today, but he knows what he's doing there. He's passed that into Benori, but Benori was miles offside. So mm, Volpato might not be having his best day. Although the match rating suggests all of that was good. I'm not convinced by it, but a 7.2, 7.3, I'll absolutely take it. Right, we'll drop some encouragement for the boys. We're attacking again, and it's been like this for the last few games. You saw the scores. We were absolutely dominant. There's Valpato with his third goal of the season since he joined us. He's Australian, of course, like me, if you remember. He did get a call up in one of the international breaks to play for his country, my country, Australia. We'll say Italian style because we're in Italy. Why not? But very exciting stuff. Another goal for him and an assist for Marrera, who has been on fire. And I've put in, uh, speaking of signings for next season, I've put in a cheeky offer to Manchester City and asked, hey, any chance we can loan him again next season? Because that would be awesome. He's been great. And uh, it's a horrible goal to concede. It's a football game going on, by the way. Uh, City was saying, we'd like him to play with a, a higher quality of player or a change of scenery for him but hey if you can put in an offer that's too good for us to refuse we'll think about it so unlike right now where we're paying none of his wages at all i've offered to pay all of his wages which are inconsiderable and a thousand k a thousand k a hundred k a hundred grand a month to have him here uh playing or, or non-playing so if that gets us over the line and we can secure marrera for another season that'd be fantastic because he has been a revelation since he's come in. It's one all here, and I would love another goal. Speaking of Marrera, here he is, running around, making passy things. Dahl, looking to cross it in, doesn't. Blin with a shot, and fires just wide. Keeper didn't have it covered, but I mean, Blin's a midfielder, so I can't really blame him for, for not firing that one home. I'll, I'll take a draw in this game. I'm not desperate to get promoted. It would be lovely. It's absolutely not a failure or a bottle job uh, if we were even to lose these last two games and not go up. I'm fine with that. That goal's been awarded though and we've retaken the lead and lovely stuff if I do say so myself. So Vapato crosses in. I think it bounced off uh, Brunori, was it? Fell to Vasic and he's good. Vasic has come really good as well in the latter part of this season and the attacking line of Vapato, Vasic and Moreira, they started finding their feet once I gave up on the old boys and stopped trying to do things like rotate and be silly. With a settled team, we've been very, very good. Even the defense has looked far more convincing. I say that, everyone's on a 6.6, uh, <laughs> which is fine. Be why? Because, uh, football manager, that's why. We're in the second half though. We can look to make some changes soonish and just, and just freshen things up. Keep things ticking over. There's a cross in. Nicolau with the header. No joy. But Moreira collects. He's just everywhere. And he's been fouled now in the area. And that should be a penalty. Even though he had his back to go and was absolutely not a scoring opportunity. If you foul someone in the box, it's usually a penalty. And in this case, it is. The ref didn't even need to, to go and, and check Brooklyn 09 today. He's just given it. Brunori steps up for the penalty. Another goal for him. No. No goal for Brunori. That is saved. He's got his head in his hands. That's why you should, Mateo. You're better than this. You're much better than this. And that tanks his match rating, of course, because football manager unfairly, harshly penalises anyone for that. I get it. If you could bump up the, the goalkeeper's rating, that's fair. Saving a penalty is epic. But, you know, for a striker, it's a bit harsh. But also fair, put it to the other side and he scores. So I get it. And really with penalties, there's no pressure on the goalkeeper. A goalkeeper is never expected in a million years to save a penalty. But I don't think it's an unreasonable expectation for a striker to convert them. So I think what's happened here is I've talked myself around on the whole issue. And I'll put my hand up like this and admit that I was wrong. And that, yes, strikers' ratings should tank when they miss a penalty. But they shouldn't be written off 
for the entire match as a result. So it's still only 2-1. We're well on top and dominant. We are going to make a couple of changes just for fitness reasons. Marrera's tired because he's been playing a lot of football. Uh, and we'll bring on Eddie Salcedo for him because I want to get more game time in there. Velukovic has picked up an injury. And I think I'll throw on uh, Carasoni because he's fitter. Why not? Dahl hasn't been great today. He's generally been great all season, but today, not so much. Three changes, and uh, let's make it four, and we'll throw on Chidira because Brunori's missed that penalty. So for all the reasons we've already been over so far. And here we go. Back into it. 20 minutes to go in normal time. It even calls out Brunori here. Missed pen. That's just so harsh. Right, Vasic is tied now, so final final roll of the dice or, or tricks here. Uh, I do want to freshen up the attack, so uh, Di Francesco can come on because the other two have really annoyed me this season. And Blin is tiring in midfield, so I'll throw in Abdulgard. Uh, no, I won't because that's all our changes, so everybody else will just have to power on. It's what we call game management. I'm the master of it. How many times have you seen that in episodes? Well, I'm trying to put on a show for you people and display my expertise. And I just lose track of my substitutions, who's on, who's off. And we wind up with dead bodies on the pitch. Not literally. That would be disturbing and weird. Chidira heads it the wrong way. Oh, it's like, once again, watching Mark Viduka in a World Cup qualifier. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll discuss it another time. Or come and join us on Twitch, where I stream on the Reggie Red. Not this save. We're with Deadpool FC, a custom club that I created in Football Manager 2024. <sighs> Frozen own air vehicleized. We're going to go attacking because I want to win. That's really frustrating. Anyway, Twitch, come and join us for Deadpool FC. We've just been promoted to the Vandrarama uh, National League North or South. At this point, I'm not sure which one we're going into, but we've gone all the way from Tier 10 to the Vandrarama Rama, Lama Ding Dongs. It's very exciting. You should come and check it out. We're going to have to do a full rebuild. It's going to be a nightmare, and I'm sure to botch it. You don't want to miss it. Over on Twitch. This game, however, we've still got five minutes of injury time. I've gone very attacking, and absolutely nothing is happening. So we're going to draw, and it's going to come down to the last day of the season, which is absolutely fine. I am disappointed in your performance. That was very ordinary. And Fructal's let us down there. Fitness is a problem. We're not even playing a high tempo, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I suspect we've lost to Vicenza, though, haven't we? I'm sure we've lost to Vicenza. So if we finish level on points with that lot, then, uh, yeah, we're not going up. It's going to be playoffs. But that's fine. It means the season won't end. So more football for us. It's positive. Let's just check the schedule and see what went on with Vicenza. We did lose. So on head-to-head, -head, uh, we've lost to them there. And the last time we played them before that, we drew. So based on that, if we finish level on points, Vicenza will, will jump us and they'll go up automatically and we'll go into the playoff hat, which is fine. I'll skip ahead. I'll deal with these injuries and suspensions and everything else. Pick the team for the next match, and I'll meet you on the other side. Here we are then. It's game day. We've still got to do a little bit of continuing, but I wanted to show you the situation. So Peace and I have jumped back up to third place. We're still in second. A win and we're promoted. Uh, if we lose or draw, probably not is where things stand, which is fine. As promised, I want to show you what we've been up to here. I won't hide the inactive deals. A lot of defenders coming in. Some of them are very, very young. And uh, I'm just here to back up the uh, second team and the kids. Uh, but Renzo Milanka, we might have had a look at him. He's coming in. Marcel Ratnik is a young Slovenian. Uh, he's 22 years old. Nine caps for Slovenia. He, we are getting for a bargain an absolute bargain there's nothing wrong with him he comes in from milan's b team uh Wilakowicz, we know is already coming in that was arranged before we got here rocky divinoza is a youngster that we want to bring in to help out the youth team and hopefully develop uh De Chiara, that transfer was already arranged claudio gomez uh we may have already had a look at I've, honestly i've lost track uh he's at loan at cagliari and uh, he's joining them permanently so he's not our problem he's not one of ours at all. 
Uh, but this guy, Matthias Mancuso, he's another youngster that we're bringing in to help out. I think that was a director of football. Bond. So there's been a bit of business going on. Manchester City have also rejected our loan bid. We'll have another crack at that in the summer because I would love, 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 love to bring him back. That would be amazing, but absolutely no guarantees we're going to be able to do it because loans and football manager 2024 is a whole thing. Bunch of plays there that have been scouted. Again, we're not going to worry about that until the summer. Right now, we're just going to focus on Spezia getting past them and seeing how we wind up for the season. We have had a mini injury crisis. So Perazzi is not fully fit. Well, Equic's not fully fit. Ranocchia is injured. Uh, Gianluca Di Chiara is suspended. And Samuel Dahl has picked up an injury and he's out for another five days. So we don't actually have either of our preferred left backs. I'm going to have to make some changes here because that is not ideal at all. And Scarby's going to have to start in place of Velekovic because, yeah, I'm just, I'm not loving that whole whole scenario, to be honest. So a uh, week in defence for our last game of the season that decides whether or not we're promoted. What could possibly go wrong? Fantastic. So the squad for today, Fructal in goal, Cecharoni, Nicolau, Scarby and Carasoni are our defenders. In front of them, we've got Blin as a defensive midfielder, Segura as a box-to-box -box midfielder, then Marrera, Vasic, and Valpato supporting Brunori up front. And look at that. We've got a little, a lovely line between Vasic and Brunori. They've got quite the understanding now, and they're working well together. Let's see if that bears some fruit today. Final game of our first season at Palomo. We're probably not going to get fired, which is beautiful. We've exceeded our expectations. We do owe Spezia after what happened in our last match. We go for revenge because you also always go for revenge i don't know why i said also not the word i was looking for something weird was going on with the colors there we must be playing at sunset beautiful lighting or it the stadium is just hued in pink but maybe it's reflection from those gorgeous mountains that surround our ground anyway let's just get into the game come on boys promotion on the line you can go up to Sierra b and make uh, syria you could stay in Syria B, or you could go up to Syria and make yourself an absolute pack of heroes. So give it a red hot go. Absolutely no pressure on us, however, to get the job done because it's a job we were never expected to do. However, I've just noticed Pisa have to play Cagliari today. So if they want to go up, they've got to beat top of the league Cagliari, who have already secured promotion as champions. Sir, but here's Vasic just running around doing Vasic things. Rare shoots and puts his shot wide, but that's a really good opportunity. Vasic's run was fantastic, I would like to add. He's a good player and a really good pickup. I'm quite happy with that signing. Very happy with the signing of Valparto as well. A few question marks. We've, we've had some beef. I've criticised him a couple of times and he's disagreed, which is always amusing to me. Uh, and there's Moreira. He's like, sorry, I missed the first one. Let me make it up to you, boss. Fill your boots, Herrera. Lovely. I don't mind that at all. You can do that all day long if you're going to put it in the back of the net. So it was Nicolau up to Benori. Benori spots that run. Beautiful pass. And then an even more beautiful finish from Herrera on his uh, right foot. I had to mentally turn it around and do some uh, spatial mechanics in my brain. Uh, Cagliari are beating Pisa, which makes our life easier. Let's get rid of the match. That's... 25,000 fans here today. And as things stand, we're going up. So that's nice and a little alarming. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. Nothing else needs to be said. Go again, gents. Let's get some more goals and put this thing to bed. As I've said, we're not ready for Serie A. We're going to get absolutely destroyed given the personnel on hand. And the signings I've already made. I've filled the team with defenders. We'll be very unbalanced. We'll need to move some on. We'll probably have to sell some players if we can. And we'll look to do that early after the season. To try and get some money uh, for the guys who are going to be out of contract anyway. Uh, oh, drama in the box. But look at the crowding around the ref. Penalty's been awarded. Can Brunori redeem himself after missing in the previous match? Let's find out. Here he goes. He shoots. He scores. Brunori in the last match of the season gets himself... To his 19th goal of the season. Remember, he's, he was on two goals in October when we got here, which is unlike him. But he has shown us the Bonori we remember from FM23 with Palermo, John, the Wizard of Oz, 
and I'm very much happy about it. And I didn't sell him, as promised. I did not repeat the mistake. So, yeah, you all thought I would, but I didn't. Haha. -ha. Abdulgard is going to come on for Blin, who is shattered. Our entire attack is absolutely destroyed. Vopato can come off. We'll give some of these guys a, a final run and send off, I think. As much as I want to play Salcedo, I think we'll say goodbye to Vere because he's going to be moving on, as will Di Francesco, as will Di Miriano. Di Francesco I'd love to keep, but his wages and mm, I just can't justify it. But a final hurrah. A huge round of applause for the crowd, for our youngsters who've been lighting up Sirabi since their arrival. And a fond farewell to some of our longer serving players because that's what football's all about. The, the love and support of your team, unless the team you support is Manchester United, in which case you're just angry and sad and confused all the time because you've got no idea what's going on or why. Just like all of the people at the club. We're not here to talk about re re real football. Shut, shut up, DP. That's, that's not what we're doing here today. Let's talk about Palomo and how awesome we are threading these passes together. Very plays it through for Benori, who applies the finish, but the keeper's made a really good save there. I will pay that. He did super, super well. Empley are beating Vicenza, which helps us out no end. And apparently the FM gods have decided oh, it's just our day and it is our season. We are taking Palomo back to Serie A for the first time. Being, I don't even know how long, but we will have a look. Brunori's tired. We'll take him off and he can have a standing ovation from his adoring crowd. And Chidura can come on and just have a kick about for a little bit. Don't be a pressing forward. You maniac, be an advanced forward. And that will do nicely. Back in the game, final few minutes. A 2-0 win is fine. Another goal would be delicious, but no pressure. And Peter and Vincenzo just pooped the bed. And we are off to Syria. The unlikeliest of promotions. I did not expect this to happen in the first season of this series. But... We are there. Final day promotion. We're going to Syria and the board are setting budgets, which is delightful. Let's have, we get 2.14 million for something. What's that for? For second place. That's a nice chunk of change. The board have set initial budgets. Let's see what we've got to work with going up to Syria. Okay. 450 grand, 3.49. Budgets are basically what we were at, although we've got an extra 100 grand of wage budget per week, which is nice, and 3.49 million worth of transfer budget. It's absolutely fine. The board are very happy. They're delighted with club vision pro, uh, progress that we've done all of this well ahead of schedule, like a year and a bit ahead of schedule. <laughs> it wasn't even deliberate. I didn't want to go up this season. We've had to pay out a huge chunk of change for some of the players on loan, given what's what we've done there, because we're a bunch of maniacs. Uh, playoffs for other teams, training week and review. Marrero was our best. Right. So moving forward, uh, we've got a whole new league to prepare for. The next episode is going to be a transfer special preparing for the step up. And we're going to be saying goodbye to a number of players. If we have a look at whose contracts are running out, let me just auto size these columns. So Di Francesco, Di Miriano, Dahl and Lane. Don't worry about the loans. Some of these are permanent, like Malekowicz, like Chiara, like Fructal. Um, they'll be staying with us, which is yummy. Uh, but uh, Vere has another year on his contract. Scarby, we, we can probably be rid of. Chidira hasn't really done it for me as a backup striker, to be honest. I think we can do better. Corona is never going to be good enough. We can move him on. Abdulgard's fine as a backup. Uh, uh, guys like these, Desplanches, ne never going to be good enough. Zukon have barely used him. And some of these other players have longer term deals. So it's just these ones where they're running out relatively soon. De Francesco, De Miriano will be looking to move on. We'll have a look at all of that in the next episode. But in the meantime, if you've had a good time watching us, for some reason, get promoted, <laughs> which is still ridiculous. I'm happy, but oh God. It's going to be, next season's going to be miserable. But if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button and tell the world how much you've enjoyed hanging out with your old mate DP and hit the subscribe button so we can do it all again. 
in a couple of days time what we're aiming for here is mondays wednesdays and fridays for release but if you subscribe you don't even have to remember that youtube will let you know which is awesome and until the transfer special be good can't be good don't get caught say hi to your mum for me let's go to syria Aleppo! Aleppo!